Finding what you need in ServiceNow can be a little overwhelming, but filters can help with that. From any list view in ServiceNow, you have the ability to edit what is displayed on your screen. You can do that by selecting the settings gear on the top left corner of the list and manually changing the column headers. In this case, I'm looking at the incidents list, so this is showing me all incidents in the system. I'm going to add some columns to this list to make it easier for me to filter through and find what I need. The first thing I'm going to do is add the requested for column header and click OK. What this will do is add a column to the right of the screen so I can see exactly who the ticket is requested for. If I want to see all tickets that were requested for guest, I can right click on that particular field and select show matching. This will show me all of the tickets in the queue that are currently assigned to guest. Another thing I could do is come up to the top of the screen to manually edit my filter. So if I'm done looking at my guest tickets, I can click on the caret next to that particular piece of the filter to remove it and return to the full list. Now let's say I only want to see tickets in a particular state. All of the tickets on this screen are in new state. If I right click and select filter out, it will remove tickets in the new state and only show me tickets in other states. So now I'm seeing tickets in assigned state. You can also save a particular filter on the list by selecting the filter icon at the top of the list once it's in the state that you want it to be in, selecting save, enter a name for the filter, and click save. Now when you access a list, let's see if I go back out and select incidents again. Now if I right click on the list, go into my filters, and select the filter I just saved, it automatically apl applies my filter. The filter option can also be used to manually edit your filter without using the column headings. So if I wanted to add any specific conditions that I wasn't able to easily do from the columns, I could do it using the filter icon. For example, I want to see all tickets that are active where the state is not new, and then I'm going to remove this condition and add an AND condition. I'm going to say the assigned to, I'm going to select is dynamic, me, so that I can see all tickets that are not new that are assigned to me, and click run, and now I will see those tickets. The list views and filter options are a powerful tool once you understand how and when they can be used, and how they can best be applied to lists to make them easier for you to navigate.